Hey everyone, I'm Ken Goshen. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that's super critical for painters to understand, the differences between a solvent and a medium. How are these two materials different and what do we use each one for? Well, I'm glad you asked. So basically what you want to be thinking about when you think about the difference between these two materials is imagine each one of them drying on a surface. When I pour a medium onto a painting surface or onto any surface and then wait whatever it is, a day, a week, however much it takes for that medium to dry, what ends up happening is we get an even coat of a transparent material that just dries in a film, right? When I pour a solvent on a surface, what happens after an hour? That solvent's gone. That solvent has evaporated. That's the difference. The difference is a medium is meant to become a part of your final product, a part of your painting, while a solvent is designed to evaporate from your painting, leave it entirely, and leave whatever paint was swimming around in it scattered on the surface of the painting in a very, very um, lean way, right? So both of these techniques produce very, very different visual effects. What you get when you work with a solvent is this kind of effect, right? It's a broken down speckly feel that you feel like there's some groupings of pigments that initially were swimming inside of a liquid but now that the liquid has evaporated, all we see is this broken down, chaotic, kind of energetic feel. What you get from using a medium is very, very different. You see a beautiful, homogeneous film uh, that has dried on top of the painting surface, uh, and that produces something that looks very luxurious, very even, not at all chaotic, much more polished, much more relaxed. So let's differentiate between when we should use a medium and when we should use a solvent. I'm going to address a question that I get all the time. Can, can I just do my underpainting with linseed oil? No, you cannot because linseed oil is a medium and underpaintings are done with solvent. Why is that? In an underpainting, we use very large amounts of liquid solvent because what we want to be able to do is move our paint around, erase with a rag, move big chunks of paint. I want to move my shadow over here. I want to move my light over here. I want to make adjustments so that I can find the composition I'm looking for, so that I can find my design, so that I can find, you know, my proportions. And all this process of trying to find you know, the layout of my painting is a pretty chaotic process and that's gonna, you know, require me to add more and more and more of that liquid in order to erase and make changes. Now, if I'm using solvent, that's awesome because if I put a very large amount of solvent onto my rag and I start erasing, after 10 minutes, that stuff's gone. It's evaporating into the air and leaving me with the ability to continue to add more solvent on it, to continue pushing things around and then after it dries, you know, everything's pretty lean because the solvent has evaporated from my surface and everything that was a liquidy mess becomes a very nice and even kind of lean surface to work on. If I was using linseed oil, oh my lord, it would never dry, never evaporate. I would just continue to add more of that, you know, sticky liquid onto that and it would just start dripping and you know, it wouldn't be dry for like a week and I wouldn't be able to erase because when I put my rag in the linseed oil, it just doesn't move anything around. It's like, it's like trying to wash your dishes with honey. No, we cannot do that. So your underpainting and your early layers, when you're still looking for stuff, when you're still drawing, solve it. Now let's answer another question. Can I don't have linseed oil or any other medium for that matter. Could I do my glazing with solvent? Could I do my glazing with turpentine? No, you must never do your glazing, your final touches, your more sophisticated layers 
with a solvent because what did we say? When a solvent evaporates, it leaves on the surface this like speckly feel, this chaotic speckly feels, these little groupings of pigment, not an even beautiful coat. So you worked so hard to render whatever it is, your cheekbone, and now you just want to add a translucent coat of red to make it a little pinky and, you know, delicate. But you've done it with solvent and what you get are red marks, red dots. Instead of a nice coat of pink, just red dots because the solvent has evaporated and you don't have an even coat. You don't have an even film. You have chaos right on top of all the delicate stuff that you've achieved. So when you're starting out, when you're looking for something, when you're acting boldly, solve it. When you're finishing up, you're making tiny adjustments, you're putting those polishes in there, medium. I hope that's clear. Now let me just kind of briefly list some of the mediums I like, some of the solvents I like. So in terms of solvent, you know, I use Gamsol because I work in my apartment and I don't want it to have any smell so even though I really love gum turpentine I love lavender spike oil the odor is a little strong so I prefer an odorless variation like Gamsol do not get the odorless mineral spirits because that's just too aggressive for your painting surface you can use that for cleaning your brushes but I wouldn't paint with it so Gamsol is my solvent of choice now when it comes to mediums I use a bunch, you know, I got this Galkid Light, this Galkid Slow Dry. The difference between them is that this dries slow, this dries fast. Sometimes I want to be working on my painting the next day. Sometimes I prefer to have it dry for longer so that I can keep working wet into wet. These both are liquids, so basically just the drying time that's different. But then sometimes, you know, I prefer working with a gel, so I have this you know, Neo Maglip, also very friendly. I also like using, all of these are by Gamblin. I also like Liquin by Winsor Newton. Lots of cool medium options. So if you have a cool medium that you think I should try, drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to geek out on it because I'm always on the lookout for really, really cool materials. That's it. I hope now you understand what the difference is between a solvent and a medium and I don't want to hear about people doing underpaintings in linseed oil. You got it? None of this anymore. Everybody's gonna go to get some turpentine or some Gamsol and make those underpaintings awesome. Sound good? So if you want to support my work please feel free to visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ken Goshen. I hope you'll consider supporting me there. Uh, that's gonna be great. And if you're looking for lessons, I teach online. You can go to kengoshen.com slash lessons. I teach privately, I teach groups. All the information is on there. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you next time.